Hello, Nari McDiamond for MiningNews.net. And it's great to be speaking again with Damon Dormer, Managing Director of Western Australia-based Golden Mile Resources. And Damon, you've been making some progress with your Quicksilver Nickel Cobalt project. Now you've got some recent metallurgical results in hand. What's next there? That's great. We've just completed our Stage 3 Metallurgical Test Work Program, which obviously was, ran extensively through last year as well and allowed us to get to our conceptual flow sheet, which has been a really big um, achievement for the last 18 months of work. What's next? What's been identified at Quicksilver within the flow sheet is not just that we can generate multiple products, but certainly three out of our four product streams that we can see there all have opportunity for further upgrading in secondary processing. So in our intermediate timeline, looking at the next six months, we're certainly working through evaluating which ones of those are the best place to spend money, conducting an economic, internal economic assessment um, of Quicksilver, and then looking to progress some of this leaching test work before we um, look further on down the line of when we need to do infill drilling and things later on at Quicksilver. But the focus is still gonna be in the metallurgical frame. And we're just gonna step through that stage by stage, you know, in cognizance of the rest of our portfolio. Damon, speaking of your portfolio, you've also got the UN Mary Gold project and you have been doing a strategic review. So what's your focus for the rest of 2024? So in regards to our portfolio, our focus is to look at uh, which assets that we want to directly invest in, which assets that we want to form strategic relationships with. And in regards to you and Mary, uh, we'll be certainly looking to joint venture that project. We've already had a lot of initial interest in that project, which is great. Um, and we're certainly working through our other portfolio. Within the rest of our portfolio, we've certainly just had a field team up at Marble Bar, and we'll be uh, reviewing Marble Bar once we have our results back from there. And then our big focus over the first half of this year has also been to look for new projects to bring into Golden Mile. Strategically, we want to get to a position where we've got effectively you know, four pillars sitting within Golden Mile of which you know, we see Quicksilver as one. We can potentially look at developing Yarrabee up into another, but there's certainly we wanna bring more projects into Golden Mole and refresh our portfolio and look for where we see the best value. So interesting times ahead, Damon. For anyone considering investing, what do you believe sets Golden Mile resources apart? There are two things that set Golden Mile apart beyond obviously the assets that we currently have. The first part of that is that we have not only some extremely good geological experience within the senior management and board, we also have an awful lot of project development experience and mining experience that goes with that, which is a very different mindset when we want to look at how we bring things along. That is a huge bonus, which most exploration companies simply don't have. It also allows us to have, with our international experience, the ability to look globally at things and where we see value. And we understand uh, the risks of working in jur uh, different jurisdictions. Um, and certainly some of those areas are extremely amenable to mining as well. So when we're looking for projects to bring in, we are certainly, we've got the ability to look globally and we have the ability to operate globally. We'll have to keep an eye out for the news flow, Damon. It's always good to speak with you. Thanks again. All right, thanks so much.